What's going on, guys? Bruce here with Bullish Currency back at you with another Shiba Inu update, guys. It's been a little while since I've updated you on Shiba. To be honest, uh, just seems like a lot of updates are coming out for Shiba all the time um, and so much information. I don't even know where to start, but we'll just go with, the, with some basics that you guys should be doing your own as well, which is going and looking at CMC, which is uh, the current main, main, you know, main source people use uh, for information. There are others for sure. But uh, as always, guys, before we get into the good news, the bad news, and the good old chart analysis, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You definitely want to be updated on time. And as always, this is just entertainment education. It is not financial advice, guys, right? You do what you will want. You're your own, you know, adults. But uh, I'm going to just share what I'm doing. You guys do what you want. Be safe out there. Without further ado, let's get to the bag. So here we go, Shiba Inu, as you can see, green today, 37%, 24-hour volume. That's good. That's a good sign. Let's check what's going on with news. There's always news going on with Shiba, right? So here we go. Six hours ago, they said Shiba Inu and Terra, you know, listed on trading and payments app with 4.5 million users. All right, so that's another listing. You know that's always a positive. We always know it's a good sign. Thousands of Shiba holders apply to Shiba-themed restaurant wellies to run new locations. Wow, look at that. That's nice. I, I like that. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> All right, so these are good little updates, positive updates as far as within the last 24 hours. That's why we see it's 37% positive on 24-hour time span, right? Let's take a look at the holders, see what's going on down there, because you know what? We are at a nice level as well. Okay, we took a little dip, which we haven't taken a dip in, in quite some time. We took a little bit of a dip. You know, we took about, well, let me see how much of it did. Uh, not that much, right? Just just some hundreds. I mean, compared to over a million, yes, we're doing great. Shiba, Shiba Army still growing stronger and stronger and stronger, as you can see, even despite this last little dip for the last 24 hours, overall still up from, let's say, just a few days ago. That's a positive sign. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chart and see where we are and where we might be by the end of the week. So as you can see, we're right here on a key buy area, a nice support area where there's actually some divergence developing right now. So I like what I'm seeing um, right now. I do, I really do like what I'm seeing because last couple of times we were in this area, we did see a nice bounce back up to quad 023 and quad 025. But this time, you know, if we can finally make it back up to quad 027, 28 and break through, then I feel like that's going to be the first time we're truly back on a bull run is to break back above this area here, back into the quad zero thirties, basically what we want to see. Now, I don't think that's going to happen by the end of the week, uh, but it is definitely a possibility that we get back up to quad zero 27 area um, by the end of the week. I do think that's a huge possibility based on the way the last daily candle closed. I do see as, I mean, sorry, four hour candle. I do see a, a potential of it coming further down to about quad zero 21 um, and 20, but like this area here <clears throat> before it officially does bounce back uh, and start going bullish again, which is fine because when it comes down there, we'll probably get some more confirmations from the higher time frames or smaller time frames. Let's check the high, high time frames currently. Okay, so right now that's how it's looking. We're on that just on a on a support area. We're just retesting a previous area. Let's see what's going on with the one hour time frame. Okay, so the one hour time frame. Okay, yeah. So we're currently bearish, closing in five minutes. That's, that pattern, uh, yes, that pattern is telling me we're probably going to continue bearish. Maybe even for the rest of the day is a huge possibility. Uh, but definitely for the next couple of hours, I would I would say just based on what I'm seeing, if that candle does close like that or even bigger in five minutes, that's left in that one hour candle. I definitely see that as a possibility of this just continuing back down. Uh, if in five minutes the candle does shrink a lot and it becomes a smaller bear, then I would at that point not be that confident that, it, that I'm that I'm right at that point that it's going to come back down. Uh, but if it closes like this or bigger the way it was just a little while ago, yes, I'd be confident, especially if it was a little bit bigger. So look at that, starting to push down again. So the last four minutes is crucial to see what happens, how this candle closes. Obviously, we're not going to be on this call for the next four minutes or this video, 
but you guys can take a look at it obviously when you watch this video to see what happened but yeah i'm i'm thinking bearish temporarily but by the end of the week we should def we should definitely by the end of the week i would say based on what i see we should be bullish we should be higher than where we were uh from the lowest this week okay so that is it for today's shiba inu update guys keep an eye on it there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of partnerships a lot of uh, now we got franchises uh, being involved partnering you know we got a lot of listings going on i mean this is crazy shiba inu is uh is is getting ready to really uh reward all these uh very patient individuals <laughs> like myself uh still with the shiba army guys so still bullish as always until the next video stay blessed and stay bullish